and welcome to a brand new video. Today is the day we go to Southampton. Yep, yeah, it's come around quick, I know. And tomorrow they operate, so this is this is when the videos get juicy. This is when the videos get. This is the reason why I got the channel. So yeah, we're in the process of moving out as well because um, we found a little bungalow in um, East Cows that we're going to move into, which would be nice. Um, it's a bit more old, it's a little bit old fashioned, but it's alright here to do. So, once I'm at a hospital, we'll be doing that. Um, what I am going to do, this is going to be one long video of the whole five days of me in hospital. Because um, I'm not going to be able to upload, so I just decided to scram it all into one video. Um, if, you, if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but. I'm not going to be out of video much every day anyway, so I think this is the best way to do it. On another note, uh, my sales have dropped down on uh, Dream Clean Car Care. So if you do need some cleaning products and you do want to support me and that company, then please use the code LUKESWORLD10 and you'll get yourself 10% off. The products are really, really good and I can't stress you enough how actually good they are. Um, once I'm out of hospital, I am going to look at doing a full full cleaning review on them. Obviously, I can't do that without a car. I'm still without a car. Um, it's painful, I know, but I promised I'd stop talking about it, so I am. Harrison's going to come pick me up. He's going to take me to Mum's. We've got to go see the stoma nurses and get all my supplies and stuff and get marked up. And then, and then we'll go in, I guess. Going to Southampton. Going to the Southampton General, let them know I'm in, in around, and then going in our hotel for the night. Hey, tomorrow. Tomorrow they operate. Quick clip, I've been to see the stoma nurses, it went really well. Uh, they've marked me up, so that's where my stoma will, will sit. They've got us have the bags off centre, um, because I've watched it clash my belly button. But we're now going to the range, so I'll try and vlog as much as I can, but it's a crazy day, so... Just at mum's now, just waiting for mum's friend to arrive so she can take us down to the boat. Oh, that's sun though. Just double checking on quite everything that I need. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you a little. So these drinks are to flush me out, apparently. So um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Because <laughs> Kalak's supposed to go to the toilet a lot, so these. So I've got all my I've got all my wash stuff. I've got to use this to make sure I'm not got anything on wrong with my skin. I've got flannel, all right. Got the deodorant, the phone. Now the, I'll take all the paperwork just in case anything happens. And I can say that I've read it. Um, some wipes, but yeah. I say this vlog is going to be quite a long one because it's the five, it's a full five days but like I say I don't know how much I'm going to vlog so on another note my Samsung is even more cracked you can't really see it oh yeah you can all down there 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 oh no not there 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 there, there, actual crack on the glass on the back, and there. Uh, good job, Samsung. You've made a really robust phone. Well, like you saw, I only had this phone like what? Two weeks. Why? Why? But I'm staying positive. I've been all marked, like I showed you earlier. So that's where the actual part of my intestine will come out. Um, and then my bag will be here, a bit off centre, so I think it's going to be like that. There, and then the actual bag will come down, this bit here. But, yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, if I don't vlog and it is a bit of a short video, then you know that, um, you hopefully you understand. Um, but as soon as I'm home, I will talk about it, and I will go through the whole operation of what happened. But I'll try and video for you guys as much as I can. But obviously it's quite a big thing. So it's not going to be on my priority. So, but I am going to try for you. Fingers crossed. And um, if you still have any questions, please don't hesitate to message me. 
and I'll do my best to answer them. This is hilarious. I am actually sat on the toilet, but... It's uh, Saturday, um, no it's not, it's Friday, um, I had a couple of days of rest before I picked up the camera again, operation went really well, um, yeah I'm all bagged up, so if you're squeamish look away, but if you're not, I'll show you. I've got one bag here and then one lower, um, I'm not going to show you too much because it hurts a lot. But I chipped a tooth or something during the procedure and it's killing me. But Charlotte came to see me yesterday, Mum and Nan were today, so it's been good. So I'm just chilling, killing. Got Wi Fi, so arms all it. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got this book and a magazine, so typical hospital stuff here. So I've been out walking about, so. but thank you for the kind words and wishes. Um, I'm going to catch up with you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, it's not the dancing guy. You're not dancing. I'm not disappointed. Was he? Yes, that is home. I'm gonna do a full like chat about the operation and why I didn't video too much. I had a really rough time with it basically. So um, yeah, I'm gonna leave that for later on in this video. Um, it'll be in a couple of clips anyway. Um, but I'm just chilling out at home. I've literally just got in. It's so good to be on. The phone's ringing. I can't get up to get it because I can't be bothered. So I'm home. I'm in bed after a very long seven days. Um, I didn't vlog that much, as you probably saw, because, to be honest, I really turned out that I didn't feel like it. It was um, a lot harder for the first couple of days than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, for Wednesday, I came out, I was in theatre for eight and a half hours. Um, I got out of theatre, I went into theatre at uh, half, ten. half ten, and then I didn't come out. I didn't get up to my mum on the ward till nine ish. So I I was yeah, it was a long old time and I was in recovery for like I think it was like an hour and a half. Or something like that. And then Charlotte and Mum came over Thursday. Like two and a half hours in recovery. Yeah. So and then Charlotte and Mum came over Thursday and I was in like a lot of pain. Um I was on uh Fennel or something like that, which is a, like, uh, very, it's a similar strength of morphine, and I pushed the button every 
five minutes for 12 hours. 283 so, times. Yeah, or something stupid like that. In 12 hours or something. Mm. Um, and then Friday, everything was going well. Um, everything started working properly. Um, and then in the night, when I was watching a film and I jumped, um, that was in the clip where it said about I was going to watch a film. Um, and one of the stitches around the stone would come out um, and start, my stone started, well, the, not the stone itself, but around the, the stitches around the outside started bleeding. Um, and it bled continuously for three days, so I didn't vlog over those three days because I was constantly covered in blood and stuff and it wasn't very present. Um, and then Sunday night, they, was it Sunday? Yeah, Sunday night they stitched it, did the little stitch. It took them three days to decide they were going to put the stitch back. Um, and then Monday, well, Sunday, no, Monday morning, I was told I might go home Monday. Um, and I was really excited for it. And then they changed their mind last minute and said that they didn't want to send me home because of the bleeding. And then and here we are today. So, yeah, I was out. Like, I had trouble getting out of bed on Thursday and that. It was really hard. I mean... It's probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do, and even mobility now is like hard. Like I'm in bed like, at my mum's house. My room's been redecorated, so it's like completely different. But um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to get out of bed and stuff. So just gonna take some getting used to. But it won't be like it forever. Soon I'll be able to skydive. Probably don't. Probably shouldn't. Be funny though. But yeah, that was my ileostomy operation. That's what it's called. And I look like I've been stabbed. Like six times. I've, a, I've got, I've had like, I've got blood tests. Oh my God, that looks well black in the video. Uh, bruise there from that. I've got one on. On there. And I've got one, I've got one there, and I have one, a cannula there, then I have blood tests there. And I don't know whether to show my tummy or not, I think it's a little bit. Mm, show it, but don't. Right, if you don't. Yeah, I'm not going to open the bag, don't worry. Well, I'm never going to show like the actual stone and stuff until I'm confident enough, and then I'll do a full video on like how to change it and stuff. Because I think that would be quite, I don't know, for people that are interested. It's a bit of a weird video, but... Is it the difference? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it's... If you don't know what this is and what it's about, I basically have a bum hole in my tummy and I poo into a bag. That's the gist of it, <laughs> without being complicated. Um, but yeah, right, I'll show you my stomach. So, oh, tell me at the angle. So I had a drain here, um, and then they removed the worst of my uh, flare and colon -y swelling from this one. Uh, then the camera was in this one, and then they removed from this one, this one, and this one, and then obviously I've got my stoma here. And then I've got my mucus fiscula down there, which is to catch all the bad bits in the last 10% that's left. But yeah, it's pretty, it's not too bad at the minute. But once I take these off, I'll show you again to show you what all the, um, I don't even Incisions. know. Yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll go into more detail about the ileostomy if like people want me to, but I think I've gone into it a few times in the videos, so. Yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this seven-day vlog. But it really, only, I think it's only going to be like 20 minutes. But I'm sorry I didn't vlog as much as I thought I was going to. It's one of them things that it was... Worse than what you thought. Yeah, I, I was... If I, if I didn't have the bleeding, I probably would have vlogged a lot more. But I was more worried about getting better rather than vlogging, which I'm sure people will understand. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you're new, I'm Luke, and this is Luke's World. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.
Bye.